Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I have a fun video. I'm going to do my entire updated Chanel collection. I don't have a ton of things, but it is the brand that I purchased the most from. So I think I've got about 20 items and please excuse my voice. I have a little bit of a sore throat, but I really wanted to make this video for you guys in time for the holidays for lots of eye candy. The very first one, I'm gonna try my best to go in chronological order. So this is my oldest Chanel. This was a gift from my husband when we had just either gotten engaged or maybe we were newlyweds. So this this is almost vintage maybe it is considered vintage about 20 years old it is a card holder and it's not really patent leather but it is a sort of glossy coating so it's a beautiful dark rich wine burgundy color it's got the champagne gold hardware and then the large quilting which is different we've got one two three slots and then a slot in the front so this is quite nice it's a little bit smaller than the card holders that you see nowadays I'll give you a quick comparison so this one here is another one in a different type of red. This is a true pop of red, like a Christmas red. This was actually a giveaway that I won from now my friend Karis, who has a channel called LV Lover CC. I was at the time just a subscriber. I had been watching her for years. And at the time I had just started my own channel and was maybe like barely even at a thousand subscribers I wasn't really known by anybody in the YouTube community but um, I thought let me just give it a shot and I entered her giveaway and I can't believe it I won it was the first time I won anything and we've become fast friends since then so she's visited me in New York a few times and we've hung out in different cities so this is the camellia and it's the caviar and you've got the one slot here the main compartment in the center and then the two in the back so I'll give you a quick comparison you can see that the newer one is considerably larger larger okay so it's kind of funny because I have become friends with some of you who have won my giveaways in the past I've done quite a few giveaways because I think it's so fun to be able to do that and to come together as a community and uh, I always look at this card and I remember how our friendship Karis and I our friendship started so it has a lot of meaning then I have this one here which is a really bright pop of purple and I never ever ever do anything in purple so this is unusual but one of my subscribers she said she was clearing out her collection and she asked me to help her sell this and instead of helping her sell it I bought it from her so yes so so pretty as you can see it's the only purple that I have again two slots in the back front and then the main compartment all pretty similar and I used to also have a black patent chevron one you guys might remember but I have since let that go because I mean you don't need that many card holders do we <laughs> and then the next SLG that I wanted to share with you is this one here and this is the beautiful bubblegum pink it's my only mini O case it's got the champagne gold hardware it's got the little CC detail over here which I think is really fun and yeah, I've had this for a few years now and I use it almost like as a little mini pouch, just throw everything in here. And I also use it as a wallet to put my cards, cash, you know, all that stuff. I have some extra cards in here at the moment, but nowhere on the corners or anything like that. The caviar is holding up really nicely. And then I don't know if I have shown you guys this one here. It's still in the box and I'm keeping it in here because it is... A future gift for my daughter her favorite color I'll show you is green yes so when I saw this a few years ago I thought of her immediately it's a beautiful pop of green and it's the boy the boy design right it's the Chanel boy it's got the enlarged CC hardware it's the silver hardware and then it's got this zipper here I didn't think about it at the time but in hindsight I'm glad I got this version with the plastic zipper and the reason why I say this is because I'm gonna hang on to this for a few years before my daughter receives it because she's quite young at the moment she's only 13 probably be a few more years and I feel like this plastic will hold up better because it's not going to tarnish and it's not going to get like rusty or sticky so thank goodness I've kept this in my closet for at least two, what two years now and it opens like an accordion so I think it's really cute maybe when she goes to high school or graduates high school I'll gift it to her she's seen it because she plays in my closet sometimes and she knows it's for her but not yet so that I wanted to show you it's not mine but it is part of my collection at the moment okay now moving on this is not I guess it is still an SLG but I wear it as a bag so it is like a clutch this is the O case but the largest size and it's the houndstooth tweed it's the ribbon tweed so it's got black and white and then ecru so it's like this creamy ivory tweed 
going through it and then the bright white Chanel ribbon interwoven against the black the contrast is stunning and then it's got the champagne gold hardware and then again all of the O cases have the little CC detail and you've got the look the logo there the back pocket yes it has the little Mona Lisa back pocket and I can't remember if it has card slots because I know no card slots but it does have the zippered compartment I don't use this very often because I find it to be quite seasonal since it is tweed so it's fall winter for me but this is a perfect season so if I go out I'll just put my essentials and then grab it like this and I think it's just a nice pop but it's still neutral so let me know what you guys think about this piece I don't show it very often let me also show you this I actually put it back in the box just a minute ago so I can show you the full packaging how cute it came this was a gift from my friend Elma a couple of years ago when she and I first got to know each other she was um, a subscriber of my YouTube channel and then reached out to me and we started chatting and we've become such good friends since then and she also has visited me in New York a few times and this was apparently a free gift with purchase many years ago many many years ago and uh, she found this mirror on I think it was eBay or some um, resale platform and it was in this beautiful new or like new condition and it's a mirror I won't turn it around because then you'll just see my tripod and all of that but this is the mirror it's handheld it's gorgeous I leave this in my drawer on my vanity but I wanted to show you how it came with the um, packaging because I think it's so cute so she hunted for this and she I think got the black one for herself and the white one for me and so we're matching and I just want to show you that I think it's really really pretty and I did say I was gonna try to go in chronological order but that's not happening I'm just kind of jumping around from category to category this is the duo mirror it's a double-sided mirror and this is just the classic black one it comes in this velvety pouch I've talked about these in the past especially for holiday gifts they're really cute and I've done giveaways I think I gave away like five of them and earlier this year they did the limited edition colors and I got the lavender one for my daughter and I kept this one in the ovni color which is the yellow it's kind of like a limey yellow it's got regular mirror on one side and then the magnifying mirror on the other side really really pretty classic and yeah I think I gave away the navy one the burgundy wine colored one and the corally red one so these are really fun and then these are really random but this is one of the water bottles I feel like everyone went crazy for these a while back on social media they were trying to get their hands on them my friend um, from a work event got a bunch of these to hand out to I guess the clients and she saved one for me so it's the number five Chanel Paris it's got the cap I have literally never ever used this because I'm terrified to use a glass bottle when I go work out I'm using stainless steel bottles I'm not using glass that's gonna crack or tumble and you know I don't know it feels like it's very reinforced glass but still so I recently thought of the idea to turn this into a vase so put some long branch flowers in here and I think it will look really pretty in my dining area let me show you my prized possession my vintage Chanel classic flap in the medium size this was hunted down by yours truly on fashion file about was it three years ago maybe three or four years ago probably thereabouts this is over 20 years old it's a six series vintage lambskin you can see the quilting is flatter CC hardware is silver but it's the flat CC I don't know if you can tell the difference it's got the flatter less curved CC so they did that for the series this is just one of those buffer cloths it has the burgundy interior I mean this is like classic absolutely classic Chanel for me in my eyes and I had had a number of unfortunate experiences at the Chanel boutique trying to get my hands on a brand new Chanel classic flap two times and they had to go back because of defects so that is what sparked me to go on a hunt and I had never purchased anything used or pre-loved or secondhand uh, before and so it was an interesting experience Real quick, my friend Elma at the Guru Edit on Instagram is giving away a free vintage Chanel classic flat bag, so definitely go check her out. So here's the back. I love that it had a life of its own. I do like the idea of how it is uh, sustainable and it has kind of like that longevity factor where someone used it hopefully enjoyed it and loved it for many years passed it along now it's my turn and perhaps I can pass this on again I just think I've grown to appreciate the idea of 
more sustainable fashion. And speaking of sustainability, I just want to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, Idol. If you're not familiar with Idol, they specialize in sustainable jewelry, lab-grown diamonds, which are exactly the same properties as mined diamonds, but far less environmental impact. They use less of the Earth's energy. They package everything so beautifully so I'm going to show you I have received several different idol pieces over the years and this is how they always come in these cute little boxes with beautiful ribbon the presentation is absolutely lovely especially if you're thinking of a gift for the holidays and if you haven't noticed I am wearing one of my idol bracelets this is part of the set that I got recently called the hope light and glow and this is one of the three bracelets so let me show you the other two. So here's the other one. And then if you were to do all three together, it's tricky for me to put the clasp on by, by myself, but there's this one clasp that it comes with. So you get three bracelets and then a universal clasp and you can put all three of these together, which I did last time. And it's just super fun. But lately I've been enjoying just wearing one at a time for the delicate dainty look. Even my left hand, I paired my engagement ring with a very, very thin diamond ring. So I'm going for the delicate look these days. And I just think it's so fun. You could also just do two, for example. You can mix and match. I love the cleverness of idol design because they're all very versatile like these Audrey earrings here this was the very first set that I received and you can see how they are created to be modular meaning you take the stud right here and you can wear it all by itself as a simple little stud for an understated look or you can put it right through to the Audrey earrings and create this fun new look it's like a two-in-one as you can see so I've got a pair of these all the pieces from Idol come with their own certificate and I love that there's an actual name of a person who it was behind hand checking for quality control. I'm kind of a diamond nerd so I also love that they come with all the specs like the carrot, the color, the clarity, the cut. I remember I studied this before I got engaged to my husband and I just love the specifics and the transparency and the gold is all 14 karat solid gold as well so you're getting the quality for really accessible prices. And great news is that I have been able to secure a 10% discount. Hello Catwalk City 10 is the exclusive code that was given for you guys. And I checked the Idol website because I know there's a lot of holiday rush happening right now. And it says that if you order before December 18th, you will be guaranteed delivery by Christmas. So if you're looking for a beautiful piece of jewelry in time for Christmas, either for yourself or for a loved one, Idol is a great option. I definitely recommend that you check them out. I'll put all the links down below in my description box. Also, let me show you, this is the free goodie that I got from my last order. It's a little travel jewelry case, all micro suede lined, really nice. And the last few times I got my idol orders, there was always a free goodie. Now that's not guaranteed, but it is a nice little bonus, nice little surprise. Um, if you do happen to order, they might throw something extra in, which is fun. You guys know also about my Lena necklace. This is one of my favorite pieces from idol. It is a bestseller. It seems like it's a big hit. It's got six little diamonds across kind of like a smile it's just very simple but eye-catching and then you've got different settings back here so you can make it longer or shorter the same thing with the bracelet you've got different settings here so that's kind of nice because i think bracelets are tricky to measure for and i didn't have to fuss or worry about measuring my wrist because this can be expanded or shortened by the way i also thought that i could wear one of these as an anklet too in the summertime which might be cute okay back to the bags by the way i forgot to mention that if you have to get a vintage or secondhand Chanel bag especially a classic flat bag and it doesn't come with the right dust bag that's what happened with this one here I do like this it's very very soft it's like a thick velvety suede material like a micro suede material that is from Zumoni I always have a 20% off promo code down below in my description box so you can save money but at first I was like okay how does this work but this actually works really well I keep this bag in the Zumoni dust bag every single day inside my closet so let me quickly show you in case you're missing a dust bag because the Chanel Classic Flap dust bags are a little bit unique. They usually have a sleeve up here to keep the chain separate. This one here has a sleeve down here, and I thought that might cause some problems with indentation or stuff like that, but nope. It hangs really nicely. It gives just enough coverage on the front so that the leather on the flap doesn't get indented, and 
voila. Okay, and then I've got my two wallet on chains or wallets on chains, <laughs> walks. Uh, this is the black classic caviar quilted silver hardware. It is my favorite. I also got this pre-loved, but in new condition with everything attached and still in original packaging from Fashion File at the time because I couldn't find this color combo in the boutique. So it was like four years ago, maybe. So here is how it looks. Love, love the versatility of this because I can play with this chain and make it shorter, make it longer. You guys know versatility is the name of the game with me. And this one here is the filigree walk and it's got this beige contrast with the black, much more enlarged CC logo champagne gold hardware. No back pocket on the filigree. This is the newer magnetic closure by the way, whereas this older classic is the snap, which I don't mind. I really don't mind. I actually quite like the snap. So here it is. You've got the one compartment here, main compartment, all the card slots along here. This is the same as the classic one. You've got this zippered compartment here, which if you don't know, this goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. So it's quite deep. And then you've got the zippered compartment here as well. So you can put some items for extra security. And believe it or not, my iPhone 13 Pro Max size fits. And you've got another little pocket here. So a lot of compartments considering how small these walks are. But I am a walk fan. You guys know that, that I have two. Then I've got my minis, which I bought the same year. I think it was 21P. Yes, 21P collection. So this is the gold 21P. And it's just shimmery. Sun's not showing, but in the sun, it just catches like it goes on fire. It's so sparkly. Champagne gold hardware. Adorable. I think of my daughter when I see this bag. I don't know why. I think it's because it's cute and sparkly. And I could see myself definitely saving this for her to have when she's older. I mean, she can have any bag, honestly, but I just think of her when I think of that bag. Here's the 21P Caramel Lambskin. So this is lambskin as well, but it's treated, so it feels different because it's got the shimmer. And this is also Champagne Gold Hardware. There you go. I'm pretty sure I've done comparisons of these two if you want to check out my Chanel playlist. That's what it looks like. The minis, especially this color here, is probably one of my most used bags. It's my go-to because it goes really nicely with my neutral wardrobe. This is more special, so I usually wear this in the evenings or date nights, but it's a nice pop of shimmer. Okay, then I've got my jumbo. Now I'm definitely not going in chronological order because the jumbo definitely came before the minis, but this also purchased pre-loved from Rue Street Bags on Instagram. Jazz is her name. She's absolutely lovely, and I got an amazing, amazing deal on this a couple years ago. And it's the um, large, flat CC again, silver. I do love the silver with the black. I just do. And it's the single flap, which I had been searching for. This is just a little packet. Single flap, which makes it a little bit lighter because the jumbo can be quite heavy. I've got my organizer insert and some stuffing. I won't take it all out. But the reason why I love this is because ease of getting your stuff in and out. There isn't that second flap like on the usual double flap classics. And then also because it's so much easier to pull this through without that second flap, the chains. Just boom. Throw it in. This is just a big, bold bag. Back pocket, you can see by the size of the back pocket, it's kind of big. My large phone with case and everything fits in here, you guys. So here's what it looks like. I would say it's holding up quite nicely, considering that this is, what series is this? Actually, I don't remember off the top of my head. Was it a 12 series? Okay, yeah, I just pulled everything out to go digging to see the sticker on the inside. All of my Chanel bags have the um, serial stickers. I don't know if you can see it's all the way down in the corner, it's dark. It's a 12 series. Um, and then soon after Chanel discontinued the single flap. So these are no, no longer available in the boutiques. If you get a jumbo, it would have to be the classic double flap. But I took out all the authenticity cards out of all of my bags and stored them inside the boxes with the tags and everything. I'm pretty OCD. So whenever I'm looking up the serial number or the series number, I'm like, ah, I can't find it. So this is a 12 series. By the way, if you're wondering what's in here, there's nothing in here actually when I bought the gold mini square. 
They were out of boxes at the time. It was when everyone was just going crazy for Chanel and they were running out of ribbon and boxes and camellia stickers. And so this is actually um, like a bag for ready to wear. I did not purchase ready to wear, but my sales associate was like, I'll put it in here for you for now. And then I'll send you the box later, which she did. She she um, sent it to my home. So I just have this. It's pretty. It's in the back of my closet. And then I've got like other, you could probably hear, I've got other packaging nested within here. Okay. And then this was the last Chanel bag that I purchased, right? Yes, yes. So this is the Deauville. And there was so much confusion about the sizing because they kept calling it the new small, which I guess it is the new small, but it's kind of like the medium. If you do the lineup, there's one that's a smidge smaller. Then there's one that's considerably larger. This is in the middle, so I consider this sort of like the Goldilocks size. It doesn't show up on camera really nicely because it looks like worn. I mean, it, it's fabric. It's fabric. But when you wear it, I don't know. I like this bag much more than I expected to. Um, I enjoy it very much. It's got the black mixed fabric, champagne gold hardware. The straps are super comfortable. I throw this around. I do not baby it. And I know that it's like not super structured, but it's so easy to carry. And then here I've got another Zumoni organizer, which keeps the structure of it. But here's what it looks like on the inside. It's got the tan, sort of like a linen-y material, zippered compartment. And then on the other side, you've got two open pockets. Oh, I lied before. This one does have the little chip. I said before that all of the Chanel bags that I own have the serial sticker and authenticity card, but this one is newer, so it's got the chip because they changed that, as we know. And then you've got this little pouch, which is super cute. And it does detach over here, so I can take it off and just use it by itself if I wanted to, but I haven't done that. It's really, really roomy, you guys. It's light, it's comfortable, and I thought it was mostly going to be just a summer bag because the Deauville is kind of summery, right? It's a, it's a summer vacay bag, but because I got it in black, I've been wearing it through all the seasons, and it works fine. There is a magnetic closure here as well for a little bit of security, and I love that I can handhold it, put it in the crook of my arm, and I can also use these straps. So again, versatility coming up over and over again. Love that I can wear this multiple ways. I have noticed that it works pretty much any time except for when it's wet outside. I don't want to get it in the rain or snow, but otherwise I can wear this all year round and yeah, I am so surprised by it. I enjoy it much more than I even expected. All right, then we move on to shoes. I got these loafers after I was converted into a loafers gal. You guys know if you know the story, I was never into loafers until I became a fan more recently. And I got the Gucci loafers. I got these loafers. They're beautiful, chocolatey brown. They have these hanging little CC detail in the chain. It's very Chanel. And then I still haven't gotten the rubber soles put on. I did do that for my Gucci Brixton loafers and they're holding up beautifully. So I still have to, I need to do, I didn't even take the sticker off. I've just, I've honestly not worn these very much because I wear my Gucci ones so much. And I think I gravitate towards the black loafers, which are the Gucci ones versus the chocolate, but I'm definitely going to wear these more. They're so rich and buttery soft and beautiful. And I got these at the Chanel sale. So they were like 40% off. Same thing with these boots. I got them at the Chanel sale the same year. There's beautiful pearly CC detail on the back. They're quite high. I want to say they're about maybe three and a half, four inches, which is a little high for me. My lifestyle has changed quite a bit since becoming a mom, and I tend to wear flats and sneakers. But when I'm in the mood, you know, I've worn cuffed jeans, and it looks super cute with just this little toe, the contrast navy and black sticking out, and then this showing because the jeans only come up to here, or I've worn these with um, long skirts and um, flowy wide leg pants. Just works. It's just, I'm not grabbing high heels very much these days, but they're beautiful. And these two, I got a great deal for at least 40% off at the time. And then these are the only Chanel sneakers that I own. And I have to tell you, they're super comfortable. And I've had some bad experiences with other uh, high-end designer sneakers where they're very uncomfortable or hard or heavy. These are very comfortable. They're super cushioned. I'll take this out. I don't know if you can see inside, but there's like quilting on the bottom where the padding is and it's super smushy and nice. And the tongue is really padded, quite dirty because I've worn them a bit. Um, I will say this though. Because it has the suede trim, you can see the suede, it, it's not meant to be stark white, but over time, 
it's turned almost like yellowy. I don't know. This is nylon, so it's okay. It's wipeable, but you can see that it's wrinkling. So the pro is that these are far more comfortable than I expected. They're really comfortable, actually. When I know I'm going to do a lot of walking, I often grab these. They came with an extra pair of laces. Like the, the thought and the detail behind it is great. They're pretty dirty, but you can see here Chanel. A little CC. Yeah, nice little details, but I don't love the wrinkling here, and that happened pretty immediately. And I don't like this suede detail. Obviously, that's no fault of Chanel. I just have learned my lesson that suede on sneakers just aren't for me, unless maybe they're black, black trim. Um, so in the future, I'm probably going to stick with different materials, but they're holding up okay considering they're, you know, all white, and I've worn them all over the concrete jungle of New York City, and I have not really been careful about where I've been stepping. Based on my experience with these, I'm not sure if I will buy Chanel sneakers again in the future. We shall see. So that is it, you guys. I think I showed about 20 items. It's like a mishmash of different categories, and I don't know if you've noticed, but I have not purchased anything from Chanel this entire year of 2023. Yeah, I think it was semi-intentional because I've talked about how I feel like my collection is plentiful and I'm just trying to enjoy everything I already have and continue to admire the new stuff that comes out, just admire it from afar. Um, and the other part is I just didn't go into the Chanel boutiques very often this year. And maybe it was me subconsciously trying to remove that temptation. So a lot of what I've seen are just through the windows. Maybe I went in once or twice and then through social media, which gives me a level of detachment. So I feel like my Chanel collection right now is full. I don't need anything else. I'm not looking for anything else, but there's always something beautiful that I'm eyeing just, just to eye for the candy. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out my description box below for additional information definitely check out idle jewelry if you're interested in beautiful sustainable jewelry at accessible prices especially this holiday season and let me know what your favorite piece was from today's video and let me know your thoughts on chanel in general leave a comment and i'll see you all next time bye bye